Hi, my name is Renee Barker. I work at IMM Model Agency. I'm going to speak to you about how the modeling industry works. I'm going to explain to you how to start a career in modeling. The first thing you need to do if you want to start a career in modeling is you need to have the right sort of mindset for it. Modeling is a very tough industry. It's full of rejection, it's full of competition, and sometimes you don't get where you want to be. You need to have the right head for this because a lot of the time you will get rejected and you need to know that this can happen. I feel that if you don't have this in you, then you're not going to be very successful as a model. The first thing you need to do if you want to start off your modelling career is to know what sort of modelling you're best suited to. If you're five foot nine and really slim as a female, then fashion modelling is more the type of modelling that you should get into. If you're under that height but still feel that you have a great smile and great personality and would love to be a model, don't fear that you can't get into it because you can. Commercial modelling is better suited for you. Commercial modelling can be suited for anybody. There are a lot of agencies out there who deal with your regular type people. So even if you don't feel like you could be a model but you still want to be a model, you could definitely get into it. Once you know what sort of modelling you want to get into, it's always a good idea to get some pictures done. This way, when you do start applying for modelling agencies, you have something to give them. So therefore, you need to go to a good photographer. You can usually get these good photographers online, but please make sure you look at the recommendations from other people, because obviously, you need to know whether or not they're good. When you get your photos done with a photographer, make sure you sign something that shows that they cannot sell your pictures. This has happened a lot in the past, when girls who have just started out in modelling go to a photographer, do some pictures, then these photographers sell their images to people once these girls get quite famous. As a result, these girls don't get the money for the pictures that they're deserved. Therefore, make sure you sign something that claims that these people are not allowed to sell your images without your permission. Once you have some pictures, the best thing to do is to start approaching modelling agencies. It's always a good idea to approach modelling agencies who deal with the type of modelling that you're interested in doing. There's no point applying for fashion agencies if you don't look like a fashion model. You'll just be wasting everybody's time. So once you find the agencies that you feel are best suited for you, give them a call and find out what their idea is of what you need to do to apply. Every agency is different, but most of the time you need to email them photographs of yourself. I usually suggest sending in Polaroids of yourself. Natural, no hair and makeup done, just standing there looking like yourself. It's always good to have pictures of you in your underwear as well because obviously they need to see what your body looks like. I then also suggest sending in a couple of the shoots that you've just done with the photographer that you've called. This way they can see what you look like naturally and what you look like after a photo shoot. These two differ very much because obviously the way you look in pictures can be very different to how you look in real life. Once you send your pictures in and an agency really does want to get in touch with you, they will call you up. When you meet the agent for the first time, make sure you have a lot of personality. I've said this time and time again to my models that personality is what normally gets you the job. Once a modelling agency has signed you up, you need to then be very active with photographs. You need to constantly be getting new pictures done. As soon as you change anything about you, from your hair to your weight to anything, you need to get pictures done to prove this. There's nothing, bad, there's nothing worse than being a model agent and having a girl who's just recently cut their hair, trying to sell them to a client and having no pictures to show what they look like with their new cut hair. It's very annoying for both us, the agent, and both the client as well. Also, it's bad for you because therefore you're not really portraying what you look like at the moment. You need to keep on top of pictures. I usually suggest to girls to get photo shoots done every six to eight weeks. Therefore, they're staying proactive with their modelling career in the sense of um, learning different poses that suit them the best and also just keeping on top of pictures. You need to then be in touch with your agency all the time. People sometimes feel that they're annoying people by ringing them up every day and saying, hi, I exist but don't feel that's a bad thing to do. This is what we want and this is what we need as an agency. On our books alone, we have over 170 girls. You need to be remembered, so therefore we always think of you. The best way to do this is to constantly call us and say, hello, I exist, I'm free this week, or whatever. That way we know, as soon as we get a job in for someone that suits you, we'll give you a call. So please keep in touch with your agent.